Hey, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. This week, yeah, this week, today, <laughs> I'm going to share with you some school lunch ideas. I'm going to share with you five school lunches. Um, I say five and I put up four. It's five. I'm getting over a cold, so my brain's a little slow today. Um, anyways, I'm going to share five school lunch ideas. I have four kids. I don't always pack for all of them. There's a couple days where I only pack for one or two, and then there's two days where I do pack for all of them. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're viewing. Just the kids have different... Um, days that they attend school and so on so that's how it works um yeah we like to keep it simple budget friendly easy definitely easy but i did try a new lunch this week so i'm excited to share that with you so if you're interested in seeing some of the lunches my kids eat in a week please keep watching all right Ooh, happy monday so i'm only packing lunch for my six-year-old today um and he's having a pita pizza so I just put a little bit of sauce and cheese and I baked it in the air fryer for five minutes. Funny story, this is the third time I've made this. It is first thing in the morning right now. And um, I made this last night. I was letting it sit on the counter and cool. And I went and got into, or I didn't get into the shower, but I went to the bathroom. And when I came out, my toddler had the whole lunch kit. He'd eaten all this and he was licking the cheese or he'd eaten the cheese and he was licking the sauce off the pita. So then I made another one, left it to cool. Um, accidentally forgot about it overnight because my three-year-old was sick and it was just a crazy night and um, the dog ate it, the whole thing again. So I washed out his bento box this morning and I made another pizza. So I hope he enjoys that. <laughs> I've got some pretzels, a cookie, an orange, and then for a snack, some more pretzels and a homemade chocolate chip muffin that I made yesterday. And then he always just has flavored water. So that is lunch for Monday. So on Tuesday, I just had to pack for my six-year-old and my three-year-old, and this was right before grocery day, but I did have just enough ham for a ham and mayo sandwich, some crackers, apples, and a granola bar, and then similar for my toddler, except he has a cheese string for his snack instead of a granola bar. And that was lunch for Tuesday. On Wednesday, I was packing for my six-year-old and my 12-year-old, so we've got bagels, everything bagel with butter, homemade blueberry muffin, um, an orange, and then some carrots with some homemade ranch dip here. And then for her snack, we've just got some pretzels. That's what I had on hand. For my six-year-old over here, he's got half of a cheese bagel with butter. He's got a chocolate chip muffin, an orange, and some pretzels. So that was lunch for Wednesday. All right, so here's lunch for Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me cough attack um packing for all four kids today so for my 12 year old she's got a summer sausage and cheese sandwich and she doesn't like mayo so she just has a tiny bit of mustard and this is the country harvest whole grain white bread with no sugar added it has like eight grams of protein for two slices and like two grams of sugar no added sugar at all so pretty good bread um we have raspberries and blueberries cucumber, peppers, some pretzel crisps, and a Rice Krispie for a treat. For snack, we have um, some Activia yogurt with blueberries. These are frozen but thawed, granola, and a cheese string. My 11-year-old stepson, he doesn't have quite the same appetite. He's got the same bread, but he's got a peanut butter sandwich. He doesn't do meat or sauces or anything like that. Raspberries and blueberries, pretzel crisps, cucumber, peppers. I'm not actually touching any of this stuff, by the way, except for the bread and Rice Krispie. Um, for my six-year-old, he has a, yeah, I literally just made these and wash my hands in case you're worried. Um, he's got a summer sausage and mayo sandwich on the same whole grain white bread. He doesn't like berries, so he, he likes grapes. He likes apples, bananas, oranges, stuff like that. So he's just got some oranges, pretzels, granola bar, and Rice Krispie. And then for my three-year-old, I know it's so funny, my three-year-old eats so much more than my six-year-old. He's got half a sandwich, same as his brother. I just cut it into quarters so it's easier for him to eat. Blueberries, raspberries, pretzels, granola bar, rice crispy. And then for snack, he's got blueberries and a cheese string. So that is lunch for Thursday. All right, so here's the last lunch of the week. It's Friday tomorrow. It took me a while to get my toddler to bed, so I'm up pretty late doing these. Um, but here's what we have. So Fridays, we often do snack lunches. It's usually like homemade Lunchables, basically, with like lunch meat, crackers, cheese, stuff like that, or like trail mix, crackers, hard-boiled egg for 
um, the kid who does not eat meat and cheese. But I wanted to do something a little bit different, and it's hard to think of things my kids will like and eat regularly, but um, I was thinking the other day about the Starbucks protein bistro boxes they used to have. I'll put a picture in here. I don't think my Starbucks has them anymore, but I used to get them all the time years and years ago. And I thought, you know what? I think that has things that all of my kids would like. The only thing I didn't have was grapes. So that wasn't included um, because actually when I went to the grocery store the other day, they were totally out of grapes, which is weird, but otherwise I would have added that too. Anyways, here's what I do have. I will take you through each lunch and show you. So we've got some nan bread and this was left from our, uh, like, what was it we had last week? Like chicken tikka masala last week. And so perfect opportunity to use it up. Um, got some mozzarella cheese, some peanut butter for the nan. Oh gosh, I touched the peanut butter. Um, apple slices and hard boiled egg. These are all things that used to come in the bistro box. It would be like this and grapes, surprisingly filling for a small amount of food. So I think this will be good for my 12 year old, but I packed her a snack too. We've got some frozen strawberries with yogurt, homemade granola and a uh, granola bar. This little knife is just to spread the peanut butter on the pita if she wants. For my 11 year old stepson, he's got apples, egg, he doesn't like the yolk, um, peanut butter, um, nan, and trail mix because he does not like um, cheese. And a granola bar, even though he probably won't eat that, but it'll just be there just in case. For my five year old, he doesn't like hard boiled eggs, he likes scrambled eggs, um, but I, yeah, I didn't put an egg in there <laughs> for him. Um, so he's got a couple pieces of mozzarella cheese, peanut butter, and nan. I gave him a slice of summer sausage instead. Um, apples, a yogurt drink. And then for my three-year-old, normally he'd probably need a bit bigger of a snack than this, but I'm actually picking up these two early for an appointment tomorrow, so they don't need a lot of food. Um, I would have given him an egg because he pretty much tries anything I give him, but I only had two, so I gave those to the older kids that I knew would eat them. So instead he's got summer sausage too, cut up into pieces. I put the peanut butter directly on his nan for him to make it easier. Hopefully that's not super messy, but I think it'll be all right. Um, cheese, I needed something to fill the space. So granola bar, apple slices, and a drink or a yogurt drink. And that is lunch for Friday.